Hi Aquarius, my name is Tiana and welcome to my channel Inspired by Ease. Uh, if you are new to my channel, please know that um, I don't do tarot, I work with a set of fairy cards for now. You can swap around the characters and my readings are indeed specific so feel free to have a look back at my previous readings I have done and also feel free to check out your moon and rising sign. So Aquarius, let's get into your reading. What's going on? We have the Soul Shrinker. Let's just get out all cards and then we'll just go into it. So obviously the Soul Shrinker is some kind of unwanted energy. We also have Mike the Myromancer, which um, has, can deal with contracts and agreements and also um, either being too detail oriented or needing to pay attention to the details. And we have Soulless. I just want to get one more aqua, one more. Solace is all about enlightenment. Ah, oh, very interesting. One more. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Full story. Okay. Wow, aqua. Um. Okay. So there's a lot of changes going on. And as I was tuning into your energy, I'm an Aquarius too. I was just tuning into the overall energy of Aquarius. And there are lots of changes that are happening, um, particularly in the mind space um, and in the mind space of others. Um, you know, understanding other people's psychology, um, understanding the psychology of other people that are in your circle. Um, so you, you got, <laughs> you have some really beautiful cards. Don't you worry. Okay. So we have some three shadow, shadow, um, cards here. So, <laughs> okay. So this can either be a person, a group of people, or some kind of inner battle that you are struggling with at the moment. It's going to be different for all of you. So, Essentially, um, I'm not one to really like labels, but you might be dealing with a narcissist in your life, so you might want to watch out for that. I'm not about fear or anything like that, but it is important to know about all of these things. Um, and also be wary of like love bombing, like someone who is like full on really early on in the relationship um, that is saying all sorts of things <laughs> to make you feel all good. And then um, you find out that it wasn't really um, sincere or like that they were using you or whatever. So um, the soul shrinker is all about, you know, things that give you a sour taste in your mouth, negative um, communication, criticism, um, uh, you know, just not a pleasant energy, basically a, an energy vampire kind of energy. And then we have the Glanconer, Aqua. Um, so this is, this is, this can be a narcissist card. This can be, um, someone who might appear to be wonderful on the outside, but then you realize that they're not. Um, so there might be some hidden agendas at play here. And, uh, the bodacious bodak is, is helpful, fix, helpful, um, fixing and um there's like a fuzz right there <laughs> okay um so yeah this is all about helpful fixing um i always i always get um an image of like someone like assailing down from <laughs> from the ceiling and just going um so maybe someone that might that might be a little bit on guard or defensive, um, that too. So you're going to know if this applies to you at all. Um, you're going to know exactly who this is or if this is a group or if this is some kind of like inner 
struggle that you are dealing with, but I strongly feel that whatever energy this is, <laughs> because we have so much, um, so much positivity going on here, that this is a moment in your life that is going to be really educational and actually really enlightening and is actually to your benefit as um, cliche or <laughs> annoying as that sounds. Um, you're, you're in the process of some kind of transformation and this, whatever this is, is kind of helping you to um, to have that epiphany, to have that realization, to step into your power, to have clearer, healthier boundaries, if that applies. I, yeah, so <laughs> I hope that makes sense. The, as Despite how negative um, this sounds and as intense um, as this energy is, um, this energy might make you might be making you feel really angry um totally valid right um but out out of this pain um and anger or even rage um that this person is creating or pain that this person is creating for you um out of it you are going to just have some kind of epiphany about yourself um, and I think it's also like proving something to yourself. You're realizing something about yourself. Um, and this is the catalyst to helping you step into your power. Um, I believe that over time, either from the last six months or the last six years, um, you have been in, in this transition of, of stepping into your power and um, I have a really strong feeling that 2020, the year 2020, is going to be, I mean, it's going to be epic for everyone, but especially for Aquariuses, um, it's going to be a time from, you know, having all of these struggles and trials and tribulations to finally receiving what it is that you want, finally transforming into that beautiful butterfly. You have been in this... Um, chrysalis kind of um energy which is not comfortable <laughs> you're you're transforming every single cell and molecule of your body um it's definitely not comfortable and you're in and it might feel constricting um in this closed off isolated um place um and maybe some of you have felt like why me and maybe even felt forsaken or abandoned um, by other people or even by God, but you are not and you are deeply loved. That is what spirit is wanting to say. So, so, so Aquarius, this, this energy, this intense, whatever that energy is, this has been a complete shock to you. It did not start out this way. Okay. And this is why you are so flabbergasted and shocked to your core, to your core. Yeah, things did not um, pan out the way that you wanted them to, how you expected they would. Um, something about this person's psychology um, is just earth shattering is just what the holy blueberries like <laughs> um yeah this person's like, like you know that this person's psychology does not match you at all they have a completely different view of the world that just does not make any sense to you um as severe as it sounds, it's like trying to understand the psychology of a serial killer or someone who abuses children. This, it's just like, it's like what, um, when you study these kinds of people, like their brains are completely different um, than the normal um, brain. Um, 
the, the chemistry that goes on in their brain, um, uh, you know, they use different parts of their brain, you know, there's all of these things. It just, it's just, to say the least, you get it. It shocked to your core. But, but this is actually, now you know the truth. This is all about the truth. And Aquarius's um, have the mantra or the energy signature of I know and we, I'm an Aquarius too, we are truth seekers to our core. We're always wanting to seek um, the truth, the uh, authentic truth, and to be authentic, to be the most authentic ourselves, and um, and to just be in the I know, just seeking um, information more in the um, ethereal realms. So we have a Mike the Myromancer here, and I actually want to get one more card. But as I said, <laughs> I think it's clear to say that um, you you know you know the inner workings of this person now. Before it was kind of sketchy, maybe, or you thought that they thought the same things as you did because that's what they wanted you to think that they were just like you but no they are nothing like you and that's what's been so shocking because they've been such a great actor um and so and so now there has been a clear decision in your mind and in your heart that um if this contract isn't over yet, like um, if this is like a family member or something, um, or you're you're married to this person, <laughs> bless you, Aquarius. Um, you now know how to um, relate to this person and how to be around this person. There's no questions. Um, you know exactly. So when it comes to contracts, I, I'm not getting that it's absolutely over. Like I said, it might be a marriage or it might be a family member where you you are in this process of having to kind of spend time with them and be around them. Um, but now how you relate to them is going to be totally different. And you're, and it's going to be in a way where you can remain in your power and you know what to expect. When you know what to expect, when you come to this place of acceptance about a certain person, you know, you've kind of, you've accepted that they're never going to give you what you want. They're never going to be the person that you want them to be. And you've come to this exception of how, of what to expect from them. So, you know, and I think, and I think this is what's setting you free because you also have She of the Kruak and the Friends card. So this more has to do with your inner journey, but between you and this person, you have come to this place of, um, full exception you know exactly how they're going to react you know this person inside and out now no now that you know their true colors and you know how to stay in your power around this person um i do feel like the energy um the contract or the or this relationship or whatever i mean this could also be a job for some of you you know um and you've given your two weeks notice, but you know, you still have to go into work until your two weeks are up. So, um, you know exactly how to, I, I'm sounding so redundant, but like, they're just really wanting to drive this home. Um, every time you interact with this person or this group or this job, um, you're not, you're not going in with hopeful any kind of hope that they're going to change you just you just know exactly what to expect they're not gonna they're not gonna 
love you in the way you want to be loved. They're not going to treat you the way you want to be treated. They're not going to see things how you want them to see things. They're not going to understand. They're not going to so on and so on. And um, I feel like I'm connecting with Aquarius who has just come to full and utter exception of how this person is. <laughs> you don't like it, <laughs> but it's actually um, helping you prevent a lot of inner pain because that's what um, hurt you in the past because you went in feeling hopeful that they would finally get you, that they would finally see things the way you do, um, whatever. And now that you've seen their psychology, you know their true colors, you know that there's no way on earth that you two are ever going to <laughs> come together in the way that in the way that you want so um you know exactly what to expect um the contract isn't quite over but like in your heart it's done you're just having to you're like you know when you give in your two weeks notice you're not really there you're just kind of going through the through the day um but your heart is what you're truly passionate about and so whether this is a marriage or a family member, that's how you're, that's how you're showing up. You're like, you're physically there, but your heart is somewhere, totally up, somewhere else. Um, and I think that's actually really healthy, especially if this person has um, narcissistic traits and qualities, the less emotion that you can give them, the, the better, the better trust me so um so yeah this is i'm just connecting with the aquarius who just knows exactly what to expect and is in their power and is not giving their power away anymore has clear healthy boundaries um and their their fire and their passion is somewhere else is a focused um is not focused on this person anymore um, and doesn't need this person to see their power. Doesn't need to see how wonderful and powerful. I mean, Aquarius, you are an absolute powerhouse. Um, but, you know, this card, especially the Glanconer, can be a card of projection. Projection. So this person could project a lot of crap onto you that just doesn't belong to you, and this person just cannot see you. And maybe that's just been the biggest pain of it. Um, but you don't care anymore. You have accepted that they're not going to see you. They're not going to understand you. Whatever it is for you, but you are in your power. I'm sorry for being so redundant, but they just really wanted to drive that home. So now, um, this, this is, this is the energy of when you're relating to this person. You don't need them to see you. You're just you. And you're just, your, your heart is not in it anymore. And, but you know your power, okay? Now, this is the inner journey that you're taking behind closed doors. And She of the Kruak is all about emotional nourishment, um, especially with the um, soul shrinker here. This person might have really taken a lot from you um, financially, emotionally, emo um, mentally, you know, all of those things, spiritually. And so now behind closed doors, you are filling up your, your heart again, filling up that chalice and um, just nourishing yourself again and um, loving you and doing what makes your heart sing, what makes you light up. And, um, and, you, are just, and you are just soaring and ascending, really, um, after, after, seeing the, this person's true colors and getting in the shock of your life 
um, it has really allowed you to let go of expectation and that has actually been really healing um, for you has been really freeing for you. At first it was very painful, um, really painful, but, but after that process of grief, you feel so free. You feel so free. And, um, and this could be you flying off into the heavens, into the sunset with your spirit guides and your angels or other people, other really genuinely positive people in your life or this is just you and you you just loving you and um yeah it's just it's just it's just beautiful Aquarius what you're doing behind closed doors what you're doing inside of yourself is really beautiful and really really needed um I do get that like as more time goes on um you'll be seeing less and less of this person and it's going to be easier and easier to fill up your cup to feel free and happy and light um and reborn in a way um i yeah i'm getting that this um this story this message has a theme of uh reclamation um, you, I think you're coming in with the energy of the eagle this week. You have, um, as painful as it has been, you've caught some kind of truth. Um, and in catching that piece of truth, you've also reclaimed your power, um, your emotions, who you are, uh, your power, your authentic truth um all of that so um you're beginning to separate yourself from this person and this other individual um and you're you're entering this phase of um a lot more a lot more independence so you can actually experience interdependence and experience more people who can genuinely support you and have your back and um and just be genuine friends um with all this work that you are doing behind the scenes it is aligning you up to experience more genuine connections um and givers more genuine givers that are going to help even more to fill up your cup um i want to get just actually one more one more for the aquarius yes okay perfect perfect okay so um we got the lady of the harvest and you can see that she is fully voluptuous <laughs> and she doesn't give a damn. She doesn't care that she isn't a size zero. I mean, with a body like that, would you want to be? Like, no. And so this is letting all what's dead fall and allowing um, the fruits of your labor to, to grow and blossom. And so you are just in the process of letting this go and this might have been the biggest pain in your life um i mean i feel like i am definitely connecting with aquarius's where this was either like a really long long painful relationship with either a family member or um your marriage and you're fine and not like you're finally but like it's just, it's like finally kind of just, where did it go? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just gone. It's just like, it just like evaporated. Um, I don't know. It's like, it's just like the snow, the snow is melting and 
you can start to hear the rush of water trickling, the ice melting, and flowers blossoming. Like, it's like, where did all the snow go? Where it, like, it used to be like 20 degrees, and now it's like 78. It's like perfect. Um, and this is, and this is the energy that you're coming into where it's just, it's just easy. It just flows. And, um, everything that you want is just flowing to you. Um, whether you're male or female, um, I think somehow in a roundabout way, this person or just this, um, the journey that you've been on, um, has been gearing you up to practicing the sensation of receptivity. Um, and the reason why I say whether you're male or female, because receptivity is more of a, um, a feminine quality, but we all have different ratios of um, femininity and masculinity. Um, and you know it's really important for men to be to be receptive and open it's it's not a gender thing it's all important for all of us to be to be open and receptive and so this is just uh yeah you're really coming into your own here aquarius where you're just you just are you just are who you are and um people are really starting to rush in and and meet you where you are um, and you're just coming from this very peaceful place, this very easy in the flow place. And this is the last card that we're going to land on. And this is the maiden. This is the most auspicious, luckiest card that you can get. This is just pure joy. Um, she knows no fear. She knows no doubt. And she's just that that pure that pure dream um whatever that is um that pure desire she's yeah she's just the seed um and that 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 pure intention um oh she is just so beautiful and so this is just saying that this is that you're on this path of beautiful, auspicious, successful, um, abundant, uh, new beginnings. And they are heavily blessed. And there now there's nothing really holding you back. And you have this, or at least you're coming into a much pure vibration where you're getting to this point of, of more christ consciousness of un of more unconditional love and magic and um just a creativity just absolute creativity and that's what this uh energy of receptivity is helping you with um is being more creative um either in just like creative thinking um, and like solutions just coming to you or if you are an actual ins aspiring artist too. So um, yeah, Aquarius, it started out a little bit rough, but now you are in, or at least you are now going towards this wonderful new beginning. I am sending you all of my love. Know that you are never alone. You are so, so loved and always be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Lots of kisses. Bye.